on 25th Street and Adam Clayton Powell Jr. Boulevard, really in the heart of Harlem, in front of the statue of Adam Clayton Powell uh, Jr. <laughs> prominent African-American uh, minister at Abyssinia Baptist Church and a congressman representing Harlem from the 1940s to 1970. And he was a very, in, um, very much an innovator. We talked about 125th Street, but he integrated the stores. African-Americans could shop there, but they couldn't work. And so he really pressed the stores that don't buy where you can't work and really forced them to hire African-Americans in more significant jobs as salespeople. <laughs> much revered for that kind of aggressive, kind of in-your-face uh, attitude about things. It wasn't going to change just by being uh, compliant and cooperative. You really had to sort of challenge uh, the system. He's very much an activist, very much involved in cultural politics. He was married to, both of his wives were in entertainment. Uh, in the 1940s, his wife was pianist Hazel Scott. Returning to New York, Hazel resumed her music career. She performed for servicemen at hospitals and at the stage door canteen. She became a pinup favorite among soldiers. And then she fell in love. Is this the land of the free and the home of the brave? Is this a land with liberty and justice for all? Is this one nation indivisible under God? Either let us practice the democracy we are preaching or shut up. Adam Clayton Powell, Baptist minister, leading civil rights activist in Harlem, first black New York City councilman, and now in 1945, newly elected congressman of the United States, was 12 years older than Hazel. Powell was already married when he and Hazel fell in love. They began a secret affair, and then, just four days after his divorce, they married. The Scott Powells were the power couple of the moment. Both were accomplished, admired, and respected in their fields. Both were politically progressive and committed to civil rights. Americans, both black and white, were fascinated with this glamorous, controversial, wealthy, attractive pair. Photographers followed them. The press wrote cover stories about them. They were the most famous black couple in America. <laughs> In 1950, Hazel was approached by the Dumont Television Network to host and star in her own television show. This is the Dumont Television Network. Dumont was the fourth and smallest network in the infant TV industry. With a smaller budget than the big three networks, Dumont learned to do more with less, and they took risks. Dumont produced the pioneering Cavalcade of Stars, a variety show starring Jackie Gleason and his honeymooners. They aired Captain Video and his Video Rangers, a futuristic sci-fi series. And they produced the first television show hosted by an African-American woman. The Hazel Scott Show premiered on April 14, 1950. Unfortunately, no footage of this groundbreaking show exists today. But we do know that the program was a then standard 15 minutes during which Hazel played the piano, sang, and chatted with the television audience. She was the whole show. The show got excellent ratings and was expanded from once a week to three times a week. Hazel was becoming one of the best known and highest paid African-American entertainers in the country. Adam Clayton Powell Jr. was the pastor of America's largest Protestant congregation a seminal leader in the fight for racial justice, and a U.S. congressman. By 1965, he had become the most powerful black man in American political history. The white liberal was monopolizing the Negro civil rights fight. That's right. This is faith, faith. Faith, faith. And he was allowing into his cartel, his monopoly, only those Negro liberals who would get along with him. I like the way he thumbed his nose at white folks. Now, I'll tell you, that, that spoke to my heart. See, if you've had the black experience in America, it would speak to you. He was saying things that we had not dared to think 
Um, the tone of his speech was one of real defiance, of real anger. It was scary what he was saying, but it was also exhilarating to hear him. What we know! Lifetime, a man like that comes along once in a lifetime.